Mamu News, bringing you news all about Mamu. It's never been so busy before. I was gonna skip this week because of the holidays, uh, but there's just so many important news that I couldn't. So we're gonna fly through it all. Pay close attention. Moonbill's birthday just passed, and she had a birthday party in Studio Moon Knight, of course, with a surprise guest, Mirani, and a phone call from Hwasa. Someone already translated a clip of their conversation on the phone, actually. You can check that out with the link down below. Solar had actually left comments at the live broadcast, but they didn't see her comments. Nguyen posted a cute fan art of Moonbill with some writing on it. Uh, she made herself for her birthday on the fan cafe. And fans sent food for her and RBW staff members. And a bunch of other people wished her happy birthday. You got the Shooting Stars staff, Jason Soju, Hyojun from Oh My Girl. And you can now purchase her birthday merch, which is a brooch on Bizent. Her sequence mini album has a schedule out now. Uh, looks like there's going to be another pre-release song coming out next week, and her mini album will be released on January 19th. You can pre-order the album now. There are two different versions that you can choose from. There are differences between them besides the color of the out package. So the golden hard drive has a movie poster, unlike the silver one, and the silver one has film sticker and a film sticker binder, but the rest is all the same. Since the release date is on a Wednesday, there'll definitely be another Out Now comeback uh, show on Studio Moon Knight, but I wonder if she'll be the host or if there'll be another person to host for her. There's an article that explains what her third mini album will be as well. With Moonbill as the main lead, the album is filled with short stories. Two lovers who have experienced changes in their feelings back then when they met for the first time with excitement. The moment when the switch was turned on, they fell in love deeply. To the both who used to be one became someone who changes their mood 12 times a day to the point where it drives them crazy. The story is filled with lingering endings that make you look back on the past. No wonder she likes love triangles. It's finally a dream come true! Moonbill has created her own YouTube channel and her intro video is actually already out with English subtitles. Even her longer intro video has English subtitles. And even the behind the scenes for the music video chemistry has English subtitles out, like on release. I'm so happy. <laughs> now, unfortunately, her birthday song chemistry does not have English subtitles. Don't even know if there will be at some point, or maybe they're just waiting for like all the different languages to be added. But she said her channel is going to show more of her hobbies like camping. And in fact, during a movie greeting, she said that she went camping recently and it wasn't too far away. So it's possible that she went for her YouTube video. She'll also show behind the scenes stuff for her album preparations, which she already did and uh, cover songs that she wants to do. I'm curious to see how frequent she'll upload. I mean, it's only been like four days and there's five videos out already. I don't think there'll be an official schedule, but I do think she'll upload more often than Hwasa. <laughs> hey, but don't give up on Hwasa yet, okay? She just dusted off her YouTube channel and has uploaded a Jingle Bell Rock cover song with a little E music video with it and it's hilarious. I'm sure you guys already watched it though. She's also a guest on this YouTube show with one of Wien's favorite comedian. If you remember him, he was a host during Come Back Home. The show's concept is that the host is the Turkish ice cream man. Yeah, okay, yeah. You know, the guy that like has ice cream on a stick and he's like 
you're like trying to get it from him, but he's too fast and he keeps avoiding you. I don't really understand the concept, but that's who he's trying to dress up as. It's not like he's making fun of Turkish people or impersonating them. Either way, the show usually has subs. I watched the episode with Davici and it was hilarious. So I'm looking forward to this episode as well. It's already out, just no subs yet. We can look forward to it later on. Not a monch, monch, hey, yeah, yeah. Hwasa and Solar have been confirmed to be in the 2021 NBC's Gaio de Jejeon on December 31st at 8.40 p.m. Korean Standard Time. This is the year-end performance Solar was talking about. So Solar will collaborate with the godmother of folk songs, Yang Yoon, with Astro's Cha Eun Woo, Red Velvet's Wendy, and Oh My Girl's Hyo Jung. Hwasa will collaborate with YB, a Korean band, uh, NCT, 10 Centimeters, Kim Young Ja, Son Woo Jung Ah, with a song that transcends genres. Solar actually just wrapped up her JTBC show, Poong Ru, and the show is over. Now, did you think that would be the end of Solar's variety career? No. <laughs> She's going to be a guest panelist for an NBC show, Family Mate. It's an observational reality variety show where celebrities observe normal Korean citizens that are siblings. And you just kind of show their interactions slash fights, basically. It's actually quite fitting since she has an older sister and they seem to be really close. So that will air on January 4th. And as DJ Khaled said, another one. Remember back in October where they held the WAW video call fan sign meeting? A fan asked her any other programs you'd like to join. And she answered Midnight Horror Story. And guess what? She's in it, baby. In next week's episode. I don't know if that's like a major big brain spoiler that she had in mind, or if she's just a woman that makes her dreams come true. But I'm glad that we can still see her in, on TV in two different shows. Mama Musola, <laughs> Side note, I think Solar accepted the fact that people who are on national TV constantly will remain relevant to the general public. At least that's what I've heard according to other Korean celebrities that talk about it. So she's kind of pushing away her shyness and just going on all of these different shows just so that one, she can continue her job as an entertainer and artist if she leaves RBW, which won't be too long. And two, so that Mama Moo has a chance to stay relevant in people's minds. Of course, if she drifts away from music-related shows and kind of does only variety or entertainment shows, the younger generation might not even know that she's a singer. Kind of like what happens to Super Junior's Ichol and Itook. But either way, I think one of the main reasons Super Junior is where they are now is partly due to their large presence on TV. So I really commend her hard work and diligence. You might think it's easy for people to just be entertaining on camera or if they're just reacting to stuff on camera, but I promise you it's really not that easy. Solar also released an OST for school 2021 drama. It's called Winter Flower or Winter Blossom, a song about missing love that came by chance. This is the show that RBW has a big hand on uh, the music production. So it was kind of expected for Mamamoo to be on there, to be honest. Uh, I do wonder if other members will have a song on there as well. I'm sure here everyone here watches uh, Solar Shido, but just in case you missed her latest video, she did a room tour. So she and her sister moved out to a brand new apartment and then they kind of took a... I'm, pr I'm assuming it's Moonfield behind the camera. Uh, she showed around her room or her apartment and there will be a live stream on December 30th. So look forward to that. Probably a good time to ask about the upcoming year end performance on NBC or New Year's resolution or stuff like that. Finally, Huyin's song Anymore with Jung Ki becomes her first song to reach 100 million streams and 4 million unique listeners on Melon. There's also her interview with Ailey for their duet Solo Christmas, 
That's on the live YouTube channel. Hmm, what else? What else? Oh, and she's coming out with her second mini album. All ready. Like, she literally just came out with Red this year. <laughs> In April. Eight months ago. And now, she's doing it again. <laughs> Money market mutual fund. Then we'll reinvest the earnings into foreign currency accounts with compounding interest, and it's gone. Uh, what? So there's already a schedule. It, the second mini album is called Hui. She'll have it released on January 16th, three days before Moonbill. You can pre-order the album on December 27th. Thankfully, my president has extended the student loan debt repayment uh, for another th three months. So now I can use the money to buy all the mini albums. <laughs> I've never been so happy before with the US president. Because, I mean, why would I be responsible with my finances and pay back my debt when I can buy a really cool 3D pop-up card? Next up, Mamamoo's 2019 four-season FW concert will now be out for Blu-ray in Japan. They just released the trailer on the official Japanese YouTube channel, and it should be out soon. Or now. The Mama Moo Moo Mas show and Studio Moon Night has been broadcasted. It's already aired. It's hilarious, I'm sure. I don't want to spoil anything, so I won't say any more of it. But I'm looking forward to it. Don't worry, Moo Moo Subs will be subbing it. But did you know that they just subbed Studio Moon Night with Hwasa for her Guilty Pleasure comeback? Link is always down below if you want to check that out. Finally, if you want more Girls Generation X Mamamoo crumbs, So Hyun has sung Mamamoo's OST Love as a part of her Christmas medley on YouTube. KCON also released a short behind the scenes video of Mamamoo at KCONTACT. They don't really talk too much, so you don't really need to wait for subtitles. It's the typical them taking pictures at the photo booth and then a little bit on their during their interview where they won the snacks and they took all the snacks. But that's the end of today's weekly news. Thank you so much for tuning in to the 9 o'clock show that never starts at 9. My name is Nani Nina. I hope you enjoyed. Love you. See you next time. Bye!